Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a delicious chocolate cake in the oven and on a stove. Here I have a bowl and in this I'm going to be pouring in two cups of flour. Now I'm going to be pouring in one and a half cups of sugar. And now I'm going to be pouring in one and a fourth cups of cocoa powder. You want to sift the cocoa powder to prevent any lumps from going inside. Little lumps or small lumps are still fine. Now you want to start whisking all the dry ingredients together. Once you have finished mixing, pour in 2 teaspoons of baking powder and pour in 1 teaspoon of salt. Now I'm going to be making a little well in the middle so I can pour in all the wet ingredients. Now I'm going to be pouring in one cup of buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk then you can just pour in regular milk. Now I'm going to be pouring in 3 4 cup of hot water, not lukewarm. And I'm going to be stirring that all together. Now you want to pour in a splash of ghee or melted butter. Now you want to mix. Now pour in one teaspoon of vanilla and after you mix in the vanilla add in one or two eggs here I only added one mix well Here I've greased a baking pan with some oil and butter and now I'm going to be pouring in the chocolate cake mixture until it reaches halfway of the pan so that it will have enough space for it to rise. Pat the pan on the surface to get rid of any air bubbles. Now you want to put it in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. Now here I have a normal small pan and I'm going to be greasing it. And I'm going to be doing the same thing as I did for the other pan and I'm going to be pouring it until 
the halfway line. Now tap to remove any air bubbles. My cake in the oven is now ready and now I'm just going to be flipping it over onto a plate for easier access. Now I'm checking on the stove for the other cake to see if it's cooked. Now that this cake has been fully cooked, I'm flipping it on a plate for easier access once again. Now I'm going to be frosting the cake once again and feel free to add any other toppings or decoration if you want. For the other cake, I have let it sit for 5 minutes and decorated it with some chocolate frosting. And now you're ready to eat your delicious cake. I hope everyone enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to subscribe, like and share the video. Also, comment down below for any other video suggestions or recipes. Thank you again for watching. Goodbye.